Oh, back to CES. This was our booth. They had on the right-hand side this little tiny part with, you know, games around the outside and joysticks and stuff. And over here on the left, they had this massive, huge area with no windows and no way to know what's going on inside of it. And one door with this enormous burly guy that said, yeah, what do you want? You know, anytime you wanted to come in, anytime we wanted to take anyone back there, we had to bribe the guy 50 bucks to let us in. You know, okay, go ahead, okay, go ahead. And um, inside that back room is where we showed the Amiga. The entire day of the show, we would bring people in one after another, and it was a great experience. And if you'll pardon my grammar, during the entire CES show, the one most oft-repeated comment that we heard was, oh, shit. <laughs> because, of course, no one had ever seen a computer back in 1983, or uh, January of 84, do the kinds of things that this machine did. Here's a picture in the middle of the demonstration at CES. This is uh, Bob Pariseau, who was the original Amiga evangelist, and boy, he used to do a song and dance that you wouldn't believe. The guy was incredible. Sitting next to him is Glenn Keller, one of the great hardware whizzes of the project, and it may look like that he's assisting Bob Pariseau at the demo, and Bob Pariseau is rolling merrily along, but in truth, the hardware just died. <laughs> and it froze on a picture, fortunately, so Bob was able to continue as if everything was okay, but Glenn is working furiously in this photograph trying to get the thing to work again. At CES, we'd always have the same failure every time. The same set of chips would blow up, and I knew which chips were. Glenn pointed them out the first time, so these are the chips that always blow up, Dave, every time we had this little static problem. Jay thought we were brilliant. The system would go down, yeah, we'll go look at it. <laughs> Change the same chips every time, no matter what was wrong. And it would fix it. It was a trick, Jay. It was a trick. We knew what that is. That's where the, the bouncing ball really started, was one late night at the Consumer Electronics Show in Los Angeles. And it was a great show. It was a, a moment of great success. You know, everyone who saw it was awestruck by the thing. A lot, of, a lot of the software developers agreed to get behind it. Some hardware people said, you know, it's interesting. We want to know more so we can start to design hardware for it. And we were ecstatic. We we're in heaven.